Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies Hobbyland here. We've got a uh, eight box past, present, and future football mixer on the website right now. Eight boxes of some really good football product here on the 31st. Big thanks to everybody who picked up teams. Really appreciate it. Uh, last spot mojo going to Bulldog fan. Who got the Titans? Last spot mojo. Imagine that. Coming up after this will be uh, Leaf Rookie Retro, and then after that will be Archives. Let's do Classics first. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. I gotta count. Last time, uh, uh, well, not, not last time, but there were a couple times back where I did a mixer. I don't know if you guys remember this. I did a mixer, and it was like a, it was only, it was a smaller mixer. It was only like an eight or nine box mixer, and I, I lost, I forgot the ninth box or something. I forgot the last box, but nobody called me out on it. I didn't realize it until the next day. And then I, I, I mean, I obviously broke that box and made it part of the mixer, but it was just kind of funny that I just miscounted and no one, no one caught it. But there are eight boxes confirmed on this table right now in this pick your team mixer, past, present, and future mixer. The past refers to the 2015 product, obviously. Uh, the present refers to the 2016 product that we have in here. And the uh, and the future, well, that's, the past, present, and future could also be taken care of in that TriStar Odyssey uh, football flats envelope there. So you never know what's going to pop out of there. It could be new, could be old, who knows. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's see, what? No college base card ship and no veteran base ships, just like the just like the other mixer. And that's all that was in the item description, which I'm sure everybody reads. All right, uh, sorry, let me adjust my camera angle a little bit. All right, here we go. Jarvis Landry leads us off. And looks like we've got a Todd Gurley Sunday Star Swatches. 34 out of 199. That goes to the Los Angeles Rams. Justin Madrano with that one. Is that a, sometimes I miss some of these numbered cards. I don't know. Our shipping team is pretty good about going through all of these. If you ever see me miss something, or you notice I miss something in a video or something like that, don't worry about it. Our shipping team usually goes through everything once more as they're sorting everything out. Looks like Harold Carmichael is your autograph. Nice Legends Auto. 25 out of 99 for the Philadelphia Eagles. Going out to Clyde the Glide with the Eagles. Nice one, Clyde. Uh, yes, sir, Clay Joe, you do have the Redskins in this particular one. Oh, the Timeless Tributes. Aren't you? Yeah, these are numbered. There you go. 64 out of 99 on that one for the 49ers. That'll go out to Veteran Noob with the Niners. Now, I usually look at the backs of these because sometimes there's blank back variations, red back variations. So different ones we just like to kind of spot and set aside just in case. Nothing there. There's Joe Montana. And uh, earlier, Mothro was asking me uh, if there were a lot of card shops here in LA. No, there actually isn't, you know? I mean, much like, you know, much like the rest of the country, um, I can't really, I can think of maybe a couple off the top of my head that are, that are, uh, that are pretty nice. I mean, there may be some tiny, you know, card shops I don't know about, but in terms of like sort of larger ones, kind of our size, I can only think of a, a of a couple outside of us. Nice. See, this is why we do this check. Blank back variation, Raymond Berry for the Colts. That goes out to Michael Hansen. These are among the, the, the shortest of prints. I think the blank front where they don't have the name on there is the shortest print, but this is pretty close to being one of the shortest of prints. Nice. Todd, what's going on? Todd, we have a Todd, we have a little bit of a ultimate hockey on the website. We've already done a break of that. 
and I think people want to do some more. You might be able to help us with that if you were interested in getting into a break tonight. Let's check the backs again here. No, nothing. Glossy Callan Winslow. Pretty nice, Todd. We pulled a NHL Shield and Auto. It, was, it looks pretty good. There's only five cards per box, so it's a pretty high-end product, but it sound, looks, sounded like people had a good time with it. For the Cardinals, Carson Palmer, red back variation. And Rashad Higgins. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure, Doran. Next time, I, next time I find one, I'll do it. All right, so we got the Harold Carmichael autograph for the Eagles. Nice. We've got Sunday Stars, Todd Gurley for the Los Angeles Rams, which is pretty nice. Got the blank back with the Colts logo, blank back variation, Raymond Berry. And Timeless Tributes, Dwight Clark. You know, I actually, I actually don't remember <laughs> off the top of my head. It's actually been a pretty busy day today. That was one of the first breaks we did, and we've done like another nine breaks in between that. Does anyone remember what that NHL Shield was? Curtis, maybe? NHL Shield Auto. I think it went to the Hurricanes. Mothro asking why, why I think, what, card shops have faded over the years? I... I think what kids are interested in had changed and I think the um, you know the oversaturation of the hobby in the 90s also turned a lot of people off so that coupled with a lot of other things you know I mean there was more things for kids to do the internet provided you know everybody not kids but just everybody with with different things they could they could do you know more more video game systems were coming out more everything so a lot of people's disposable income whatever extra income they had for entertainment costs could go could go everywhere could go anywhere now you know there was more things but i think with you know but there has certainly been a resurgence and while you know while there are good card shops still left out there it's just obviously it's not as common um, and there's just newer ways to do things now using the technology that has increased because of the internet with, uh, you know, with case breaking like us. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it was Hurricanes, Todd. Right. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? All right, that's another good point too, Mr. Do. Online discount retailers... Are, are, are a big reason as well you know card shops can't compete can't compete with that you know that's why the core of our business is still case breaking even though we have a shop here in Redondo Beach Jack McGee and we got Luther Maddie 24 out of 99 Cardell Jones refractor and Devin Johnson is your autograph. I'm not sure. I don't quite remember where Devin Johnson ended up going, but there it is. I'm doing well, sir. It's been a pretty busy Wednesday. A couple new releases and a, and we had a lot of breaks that were close to like single digits over the last couple nights. Um, so they're all going off tonight. Kelvin Taylor. Auto. There's Darren Sproles. There's a uh, Daddy Lahome Nicholas, right there, one forty nine or one ninety four out of one ninety nine. The Virginia Tech product, and Paul Perkins, sixteen out of twenty five. Nice Mojo Refractor and Auto. All 
I'll look up. We'll look up all of these guys. It, it still takes me a season. Until it still takes me a good chunk of the season for me to learn all these new new rookies and, and, and remember exactly where they go. So we'll look them up before one out of five. We'll look them up before we ship them. Obviously, one out of five. Andrew Billings. Wow. From Baylor. Now I gotta do a trade whistle, so I have to look up this guy. Andrew Billings, defensive tackle for the Cincinnati Bengals. Nice one. Bengals, John Parker. John, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! Nice. There's Tom Brady. And Michael Robertson asking if we sell singles at our shop. A li a some. A few here and there. Uh, a lot of them are holdovers from uh, from when we used to do eBay. And then people wouldn't pay for their breaks. So whatever teams that didn't get, you know, that didn't get paid for, we, ended, we, you know, we, we as a store ended up keeping them and we would sell any of the singles that come out of there in the store. But not very, not very much. Byron Marshall, 191 out of 199. Todd asking if the size of the national has grown recently. Uh, in many ways, I, I'm not sure actually, to be honest with you. Although I did hear, there's Mike Evans. I did hear that uh, the the Atlantic City National was the highest attendance in like the last five years or so. One out of ten on that Mike Evans for the Buccaneers. That goes out to Jeremy thirty three. And out of 199, Jeremy Cash. Nice autograph there. We've got DeAndre Houston Carson, 11 out of 99. I guess he's just gonna, he's just gonna sign a DH, I suppose. And that's that. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, I was a little surprised when they said that the National was one of the highest attended in the last recent years. Mr. Dew also saying that it seemed a little empty. I thought so, too, compared to Chicago. But it may also be, you know, a matter of um, where where the how the layout was, I guess. I think if you remember Chicago, uh, we were all kind of packed in a tighter sort of space. So maybe it seemed like it was more busy. Um Let's start from the back right here. Let's go platinum. If you're calling right now, I'm doing a break and there's nobody at the store right now, so sorry. Who's calling the store right now? Oh, Joe Kroll got into Ultimate Hockey. Nice. Who else? Well, Mothro, you got to plan ahead for Chicago next year. Is it Destiny calling? Is it I didn't call her back after the first date? How did she get my work number? Crazy. Arthur wants to do Immaculate. Immaculate Baseball. Listen, we got a lot of time tonight, folks. And we've got a lot of breaks filling up. So make it happen. It was it was weird watching us live. It, what what do you mean it ruined the mystery of it? <laughs> I 
I think people like it. No, you, you, you didn't like. You didn't like. You didn't like seeing how the sausage was was, was made, Andrew. Aaron Rodgers die cut. Jared Allen for the Bears. That's not a numbered card. Leonte David. Oh, I guess they're flipping those around, huh? In this pack. And Jersey Auto Vince Maley. Going to the Cleveland Browns. John Parker with that one. Peyton Manning. Oh, I thought you would be numbered. I guess not. But there's a camo die cut. Frank Gore. Those aren't numbered. Robert Quinn. CJ Mosley. Darrell Revis. These are all psyching me out. I think they're going to be auto. Oh, this is an auto. There it is. PJ Williams. Nice one for the Saints. Saints hit going out to John Parker. Yeah, Mothra, you, you liked watching at this year's National? We usually have fun at the National. We're all, we're like, we're usually jet lagged and exhausted and we've, we, we've, we you know, been working like, you know, 14 hour days the first few days and we're just so exhausted. And usually I'm just like, you know, we're, we're a lot looser <laughs> at the National. Sorry, TV. There's a purple Nelson Aguilar, two out of 75. That goes out to the Eagles. I think we're looking at one more autograph. This might be it. There it is, Trey Flowers for the Patriots. Pat tip going out to Michael Hansen. All right, and that was the box of platinum. Uh, Brian Alvarez, how do you get into breaks? You go to our website, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We have a web store there that you can check out. And are you are you familiar with this whole case breaking thing, Brian? If not, we have a cool uh, uh, a video that can explain the whole deal to you. Let's do some prestige. Uh-oh, Brandon Parrott says, Woohoo, my paycheck just hit. Got, got that direct deposit hitting. Time to get into a couple breaks. Nice. Do it. These are just vet base on top and then rookies on the bottom right here. The vet base won't ship, the rookies will. And we have, out of 100, Jarrell Adams. Nope, out of 100, Noah Spence. There it is, six out of 100, Noah Spence. Autograph going to the Buccaneers. That'll be for Jeremy, 33. And we've got Jarrell Adams. 35 out of 50. Nice one for the New York Football Giants. That'll go out to Mathau with that one. I believe the rest of these, usually I don't see them numbered too often, but there it is. Just check on the back just in case. Yeah. All right, next pack. <laughs> Jeremy's like third to last spot mojo. Sure. We can make a mojo out of everything, right? Make a mojo out of everything. All right. We got the autograph, Devontae Booker. Nice one for uh, the Denver Broncos. Adam K. We'll hockey with that. Not exactly the, the Peyton Manning that you were looking for, Adam, but a little something nonetheless. Aaron Rodgers, variation of 004 out of 100 is the parallel. That goes out to the Packers. Tyrone with that one. Thanks, Tyrone, for getting in. And what do we got here? 
Keenan Allen. If Keenan Allen can stay healthy, I feel like I feel like he's always dinged up, right? Or is that just me? I'm about to keep him in my fantasy league. I was going to keep Teddy Bridgewater, but obviously that's not going to happen anymore. I like how they organize these in Prestige. All, the, all those cards are on top and the hits are right here. Oh, nice. Jimmy Garoppolo. The future of the Patriots, perhaps? Or is it Jacoby Brissett? Pat's auto going to Michael Hansen with that one. Nice one, Mike. You got, you got the, the potential future of the New England Patriots. Ruben Randall. These are the rest. The update on Teddy Bridgewater, I, I think his season is pretty much done. It's got to be done, right? I think they've, have they, they, they would have officially announced that. But judging from the injury that he has, I mean, it's 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 out for the season. It's it's like ACL and like a dislocated knee or something like that. It was really bad. There he is, poor Teddy Bridgewater. I forget which one it was, but yeah. But it, and the scary thing, you know, well the it was a non-contact injury, so it, it's. I, I, th I think it was pretty much inevitable. It, it would have happened at some point, you know? So it wasn't like he was hit and that happened. It was just something that was going to go. There's Kendall Fuller for the Redskins. That goes out to Joe Claybo. There's Tyler Boyd right here. Latavius Murray. Uh, Brian, you got to go to this right here, www.jaspieshobbyland.com. That's the website. You can click that link right in the chat. Okay. Next box. Let's do this one right here. Well, what Vincent is saying, Vince W is saying that he almost lost his leg. What, what did like... Was like circular blood like being cut off or something like that? Wow. I guess I guess he Vincent W. Wingate is saying that uh he almost lost his legs, but the trainers had reacted in time. Crazy. So this is prime signatures. I think we got some base cards right here. Michael Floyd, Ryan Fitzpatrick, 131 out of 149, Brandon Cooks for the Saints. That goes out to John Parker. Oh, I see. So Adam's saying when you dislocate a knee, you can have really bad artery damage. So that, that's what I thought. I didn't know that. I, I assumed that was artery damage, but I didn't know that a dislocated knee could do that. That's crazy. That's scary. Prime timers, Drew Brees. Insert. And from the Ohio State University... Where does this guy go? I think I gotta learn all this stuff. I think the Saints, right? Yeah, Michael Thomas. 110 out of 199, another one for the Saints. That's another one for John Parker. Nice. Looks like we have a Blake Bortles base card on the back right here too. And Vince W. saying that the injury was so nasty that team members were vomiting and practice was canceled for the day. Wow. That must have been real. On a non-contact injury? That's crazy. All right. Three more boxes to go in this eight-box pick-your-team mixer. We have uh, Leaf Rookie Retro coming up next. So stand by for that. After Leaf Rookie Retro will be Archives Baseball. Brand new Archives Baseball. And then we'll see what else we can do tonight. Devin Smith, purple. And we got nice Curtis Martin. 
26 out of 50. Curtis Martin on card autograph for the New York Jets, Jets, Jets. Adam K, whoa, hockey with that one. Nice one. That's pretty cool. There you go, Adam. That's nice. Right on the card as well. And museum collection. Yeah, that's true. You don't see a lot of Curtis Martin autos. It's, it is very cool. He's got a nice autograph, too. All right, we've got Randall Cobb to 60, Kelvin Benjamin, Des Bryant, and Marshall Falk. And the hit is Jordan Matthews. Nice. A lot of nice color in there. Triple Relic and the auto. Seven out of 50. Nice one for the Philadelphia Eagles for Clyde the Glide. Nice, Brandon. Good work. Brandon Parrott getting into uh, two more in the next few Terra Soccer and then got one in the eight box quick hit mixer. That's a guaranteed auto there. Next one we have. canvas collection of Gronk and a big jumbo jersey for Le'Veon Bell 153 out of 249 for the Steelers that's Robert D with that relic next one Tim Brown, Hall of Famer, Philip Rivers, Gronk, and the bus. And we have nice quad relic, Duke Johnson, the Duke, 34 out of 99. Nice one there. Browns, John Parker. I don't know who has been calling. Got Jameis Winston to 99. Uh, I'll put that. LaShawn McCoy, Tannehill, and Bo Jackson. And the hit. Wow. We don't see a lot of these. 8 out of 10 Drew Brees autograph. Wow. Super Bowl signature series. That is awesome. Eight out of 10. Just one off that jersey number. Always seems to happen with us. Saints going out to John Parker. Very nice. There you go. That was a nice way to end that museum collection box. All right. And the final one is TriStar. There you go. Now, obviously, if the uh, if the person is in his, if it's not clear what team uniform he's wearing, like if he's in a college uniform or a high school uniform or something like that, then um, then it'll go to the team he played for the longest. Otherwise, it should be pretty fairly obvious where he goes. Like for example, this one, 1985 tops, Mike Moonchak. Nice. For the Oilers, is now the now the Titans, of course. There he is. There's the autograph and the inscription. Hall of Fame 01. Nice one. PSA DNA and everything. Titans. That's Bulldog fan with the last spot mojo. 80% of the time, it hits 100% of the time. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the 8-box past, present, and future Football Mixer from jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is Joe. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.